What's up guys it's the real deal welcome back to the channel so we are on the second part of all legendary champions let's just get straight into it uh, so we're on the galian pact and i'd say it's probably the weakest out of all of them uh, the corrupted being the strongest and then telerian's been second and then probably third would be the union uh, so ogren tribes is a pretty weak faction um, but there's still some good champions here uh, so big un, uh, absolute beast for the arena. If you need an AoE arena new car, definitely worth booking in. And he has a lot of AoE abilities as well. So again, you can put him in a stun skate and he's going to do a lot of work for you. Uh, War Mother, I think she's an underrated champion. Uh, I've seen some unique teams used, um, using her in arena. So really good in arena. Uh, and also can be used for Bommel as well to blow him away. So yeah, I think she's definitely actually... Definitely worth investing in. Ignatius, I hate this guy. He is just so trash. Um, he's like HP burn is on a, a five turn cooldown, which is ridiculous for a legendary. Um, I do use him in a spider team on the hard 10, but outside of that, no use and no playtime from me. Uh Gertuck, yeah, I just yeah, so no from me. Definitely not worth investing in. Uh Gurda. Gurda. Um, wow. She is one hot mama. Um, yeah, again, she's she's not getting any playtime. Definitely not worth investing in. So Death Bell, um, Goraga. Um, I actually pulled this guy, and apparently he's an absolute beast, like an amazing support champion. Uh, brings in ally protection and strength, and two really strong buffs. Um, definitely a champion worth investing in, and also can uh, fill turn meters as well. So. Yeah, um, apparently really good fighter as well, so 100% worth investing in. Uh, Shamrock, he's a bit of a strange champion, a bit RNG. Um, can be used for Hydra, but again, he's sort of doing some crazy random stuff. Um, I feel like outside of that, he's not he's not getting much use, so I personally probably wouldn't invest in him. Uh, Drock Rule, um, yeah, another one. Just, yeah, I... I can't really, I don't see you getting much use out of him. Definitely not worth booking out. Uh, Guru Go, uh, um, he's an absolute beast. Um, yeah, another a freeze champion. So, you know, he's got some places in the game, but he can also do loads of damage and he can strip for arena. So actually, yeah, I'd definitely be investing in him. So Graza, Iron Gut. This guy is, he's new to the game and he's an absolute beast. He is as good in the game as he you know he's as sick in the game as he looks like just i don't know such an amazing skin they've really spent some time on his artwork but yeah great champion and yeah usable in loads of content um probably not as good as krisk but still not far off and increased res as well um not many champions uh have that so it's a good ability um, but yeah it's just an interesting champion and i feel I've heard that he can actually be used as a nuke for arena. Um, so yeah, pretty interesting champion and he just looks the dog's bollocks. So Lizardmen used to be probably one of the worst factions just because there was no champions there. Uh, so we've got Draco, who's just an absolute beast. You definitely book this guy out. Um, used to be really good for PvE, still is really good for PvE, but not as strong as he used to be. Uh, great for clan boss, absolute beast for unkillable team comps so yeah i would definitely be investing in him uh roxanne yeah i think they need like a bit of a rework they have potential to be a beast uh but at the moment they're just low low skill uh barsath um he's one of those champions that by the time you get him from the doom tower you you'll have better champions and you won't be using him but he does have a 100% chance of placing stun debuff for one turn and decreasing the enemy team's turn meter. So he is like a really good champion, but he's just not going to get any playtime when you're able to get him. Your roster should be stronger and you should have better options. So unfortunately, he's he's not going to, he, he's not getting any, he's, yeah, he's not going to be used. He's just going to be sitting in your vault. Uh, Fushan, 100% worth uh, investing in. You can be using him for unkillable team comps for clan boss. Also, um, an absolute beast for arena as well. 
um, could be used in loads of different contents. So yeah, bit of a game changer, definitely worth investing in. Razin. So um, this guy isn't as strong as he used to be. Uh, I feel like I'm saying that a lot now, uh, but he, he isn't. Um, he's definitely worth using. He You can build uh, easily build out a two-key Ultra Nightmare clan boss team with him, and that is one of the focuses that you need to be doing, especially early on. He can also strip as well, um, so he can be used in Arena like in a go-second team, and he does hit hard, and he does do a lot. Um, but yeah, again, just not as good as he used to be, but if you do get him, you probably will be investing in him and you'll be using him in your Ultra Nightmare team just so you can get all those shards and books. Uh, Skull Lord, um, an interesting champion. Definitely has some sort of use and um, can be used for Hydra as well um, as a as a resistance tank, the head of Mischief, but he can also provoke as well. So he's, he's filling two roles um, and he also does a decent amount of damage and he decreases... Um, the enemy's uh, HP, yeah, it destroys HP over time as well, which is a useful skill. Um, you used to see him in an arena a little bit, not anymore, but um, he's still a pretty good champion. You could definitely be using him in some PvE content, especially Doom Tower if you need to carry there, uh, and Faction Wards as well. Great, great champion, Faction Wards. Pytheon, one of my favorite champions at the moment, um, pairs up really nicely with Duchess or Usaga, um, can really reduce, like, do some damage mitigation. Um, top tier this guy you know he's doing it all and just great champion 100% you are invested in him uh Vugum car the he looks really cool like he's like a mount but he's just awful uh literally almost no use in the game just like I wouldn't I would avoid booking him or doing anything with him if you can Nekmo, one of my favorite champions. Um, I think he looks like a bit of a frat boy with his paddle that he uses for spanking. Um, but yeah, he's a great champion. PvE content. Um, you probably even use him in arena as like a second turn meter booster. Uh, but his main place is Hydra. And he he's carried me so hard through Hydra, even all the way up to Nightmare. Beast, God mode champion, invest. Krisk. If you're pulling this guy, 100% you're investing him. This is another champion. He can do it all. He can be used in every single bit of content. And yeah, just full god mode. You're using him as well. Romantu. Um, so obviously, he's really hard to get. You need to be able to do all the missions to get him. But you know what? When you get him, he's still usable. I'm still using him for Live Arena. Um, I like to run him like, with a double stripper team comp. Uh, and that passive, block passives that he has as well. Um, yeah, so strong. Really, really good champion. 100% worth investing in. Chagor, it's a real shame. Um, I've got him. I don't really use him. And he's not that great. Um, I would avoid using him, even for Sand Devil, which would be like, you'd think it'd be his like, strongest spot. Um, but even then, there's just so many better options. I'd avoid booking him. And like just using him full stop. Um, so Furion, this is a new champion, um, kind of interesting. I would say I probably would invest in them just because HP burn and stuff. Um, looks like an interesting champion, but yeah, I wouldn't say they're like broken, but still pretty good. Uh, Skinwalkers, so we've got a mythical here, we got Mesol, uh, sorry, Mesol, Mesomol. Um, yeah, so a foxy lady. Um, she looks pretty cool. Looks like she has a decent kit. Does a lot of interesting stuff. And when she evolves, who does she turn into? Female Barakas. Um, yeah, so yeah. I mean, at the moment, yeah. 100% you'd be investing in her. She's mythical. Why not? Um, so, no rog. Um, he's okay. I don't think he's insane, but... Um, you know, having block buffs, very strong for Hydra. So if you need that, you can bring him in for there. Outside of that, not getting much playtime. Uh, Longbeard, great champion, um, ally attack champion, one of the best, and attacks with all four allies. Can be used for um, Finite Hard Mode 10, but also for the arena if you want to build a blender comp. Definitely worth investing in, really good champion. And I'm sure you could probably fit him into like a clan boss team as well. Uh, Hakorn, 
uh, another great champion. He's a cleanser. Um, and I think a lot of people don't see him that often. So, you know, I've run into arena and because you don't see him that often, if you don't see a champion often and they're not getting a lot of play time, but actually that can make them really strong because people don't know what they do. They don't know what their kit is. Um, but yeah, he's pretty strong. He's decent, decent champion. Oh, Raze. So I think he's, I would invest in him. I think he's a pretty good champion. Um, he's definitely got some uses like Arena Nuka. He's got an interesting kit. He's very, very fast. And again, can be used for finite um, hard as well. So yeah, I would definitely be investing in this guy if I pulled him. War Chief. Yeah, just straight up trash. Um, he'd be a skip from me. Uko, one of my favorite uh, champions. Uh, Pumba right here. He's doing a lot. He strips, he puts out block debuffs, decrease accuracy, and revive, an AoE revive of block damage. You know, so much use out of this guy. Literally can use him everywhere. Uh, stands out in Live Arena and Hydra, just absolute beast. Baracus, he's one of those champions where I think you get really excited when you pull him, but he's not that great. Um, it's a real shame because he looks so cool, but um, yeah, he's not getting a lot of use. Um, he's got a passive that he can revive and um, doesn't hit really hard, but it's all single target. Unfortunately, yeah, there's just so many better options than Baracus. Uh, Vermin Lord, great, great champion. Can be used for arena, can be used for loads of PvE content, but again, stands out for Bommel for me, bringing those bombs and doing extra damage to uh, bosses. 100% I'd be investing in him if I pulled. Um, so the spiky hedgehog, um, I mean, pretty good champion, not like God tier, uh, run of the mill, but he does have ally protection, which can be useful, but yeah, probably would be a skip for me. Uh, Samson, I was so excited when I pulled this guy out, like was really interested in using him. I mean, he has insane survivability and he can be really annoying with his A1, like his passive. He's just doing counter attacks all day long. But yeah, he just hits, his hits are so weak that he doesn't really do a lot of damage. He brings a lot of control, but um, I would personally just skip him. Um, you know, for Arena, I'm going to bring in someone that's going to actually do damage and just wreck the other team. For PvE, I'm bringing in someone that's actually going to clear the waves and he's just slow. So yeah, for me, it's a big fat no. Uh, Cleopatrix, um, she's another great champion. Um, she does work around Hex, so you need to sort of maybe put a bit of accuracy on her, but she does increase her accuracy herself. Uh, but yeah, great for Hydra and great for PvE content, can clear waves, and obviously she does hit really hard. Um, you're not going to be bringing her in for Arena at the moment. Ragash, um, yeah, he's a great champion, um, a nice counter to Harima. If I pulled him, I'd definitely be investing him in just for Arena. I'm sure you can be using him in some other content, but mainly Arena would be where it's at. Uh, nice passive well with uh, Perfect Veil as well. Uh, so Great Hoof. So this guy was, or sorry, this chick, chick, this cow. Um, yeah, she was a fusion. I skipped just not a particularly great um, support champion. Yeah, just she's not bringing enough for me. Wukong, one of my favorite champions. Um, this guy is so broken. Um, he's he's not that broken, but he's do bringing a lot like block buffs and sheep. Uh, it's just so good. And there's like different ways you can build him. I always like a champion where you can build him different ways. Like you can build him full nuke, and if he dies, it doesn't matter. He's coming back, and he's probably gonna get a turn in, and he is gonna drop peeps. Um, or you can go the other way and just go like really supporty and yeah, make, make sure he's got accuracy so he does land his skills. But yeah, super strong and he's got a lot in his kit. Uh, Chrono, uh, personally, I think a little bit outdated. I wouldn't be investing in him. However, if you do have uh, Min Anya, <laughs> um, they, they make a really nasty defense. So really good for tag. So if you do have the pair, I'd invest. Otherwise, it's a hard skip from me. Uh, Tomesia, um, really weird looking fox lady. Like she's been on the roids. Um, but yeah, she she 
definitely has some use um like for spider and some other or maybe like for hydra as well so yeah definitely worth investing in outside of that you're not going to be able to really get much use of her but yeah i'm pretty sure you would be you know hydra and spider you do need it leores um so i absolutely love this guy i've been using him for loads of content uh, i use him for farming campaign nightmare um, I use him for like a normal Hydra team, just get loads of points for Clash, um, Arena God. Um, yeah, and just even like Doom Tower, I'm using him and stuff as well. He can just clear waves really fast. So yeah, absolute beast. 100% you're investing in him. And he is just a killing machine. Really great kit. Uh, so Orcs, um, probably, I don't know. It's like a bit, it's a strange one. They, it's a really weak faction. Uh, but they have got some of the best champions again as well. So Garol, or aka Carol. Um, yeah, she... I don't actually know her kit. I've not really looked into her. Um, I think she, she looks pretty decent, to be honest. She probably... She's mythical. We invest. If it's mythical, that's the th rule of thumb is you just invest. Okay, so Grahok, hardcore skip, absolute trash. Uh, Kreela, pretty decent champion. Um, she does, yeah, she, again, she's another ally attack champion. Um, so, yeah, definitely worth investing in. And you can build um, some unkillable team comps around her. Teal used to be pretty awful, got buff, and is now usable in Hydra. Also, she's bringing that Hex in as well. Um, I forgot about that. So actually, I might start investing my one just so I can start using it in Hydra. Uh, Durang Skull Reap, absolute trash. Real shame. He looks pretty cool. You know, he looks like something out of Mad Max, but yeah, absolute trash with his two pieces of corner cob. Artak, um, really, really good champion. Great for Spider and also great for Hydra. Robar. I mean, he's had a bit of a buff, but he's still, I don't think, good enough. So for me, again, he's not hes not cutting the mustard. He's not getting invested in. Uh, Sky Hired, again, just another trash champion and so many books. Yep, he's sitting in the vault. <laughs> I'm starting to sound like a broken record. Kin Garog, again, just another trash meister with a horrible nipple piercing. He's not getting any love from me. Nogar. It's a real shame. Like, this guy, he gets buffed. He gets nerfed. He gets buffed. He gets nerfed. Um, I would actually invest in him because he does... He's like OP for a day. Like, new content will come out and he'll absolutely smash it. And then he'll get nerfed and, he, and then he's unusable again. But I just feel like he's... They are probably going to have to rework him at some point And he will become usable again. Um, and I just like him because he's different. So if you like different champions, invest. Iron Brago, definitely worth investing in. Um, has a really cool passive that increases um, everyone's defense by 10% of this champion's defense. So you put on like, you know, 5k's worth of defense. Everyone is getting 500 um, extra defense on them, which is just amazing. Um, great for clan boss. If you're like new to the game, Ultra Nightmare. Stick him in a team and he's going to give your team so much more survivability. And what's great about that as well is you can just bring in other stats, bump up the other stats and get that two key Ultra Nightmare team going. Um, but yeah, and he can be used for loads of other content as well. He's, he's bringing in a Provoke. He's increasing defense as well. He's bringing in a stun. A very, very useful champion. Uh, Varl the Destroyer. Again, just trash. Not really getting any use out of him. Bonesaw, Drag. This guy is pretty new and apparently is an absolute beast. He's an attack champion. Uh, I've not run into him much yet, but it's probably because he's quite new. But yeah, he's definitely getting work done. And yeah, it just looks like really interesting kit. And yeah, 100% he's getting, he's, he's, getting, he's getting used. Warlord, one of the OGs. If you pull him, you are using him everywhere. Um, yeah. Being able to put skills and cooldown just makes him an absolute beast. Like arena defense, he's still getting platinum play. Um, yeah, just an amazing champion. And you can build him so many different ways. 
Um, yeah, really good champion. He's god tier. You're using him. Angar, trash. Raka, so uh, an interesting champion. You don't see her much because she's a void legendary. Duchess, a lot of people compare her to Duchess, and Duchess definitely gets more play. But Duchess, you know, she's been around the block. Uh, she's not a void legendary, so she's more accessible, um, even though I don't have one after 3.5 years of playing. However, Raka is, I would say, not as good as Duchess, but still a very, very strong champion. And if you pull her, you'll definitely be able to find some use out of her. Definitely worth investing in. And our last champion of the day, Supreme Gaelic. Um, he is a solid champion, much better than Ultimate Gaelic, who's probably my most hated champion. Can't stand him. But yeah, Supreme Garlic Bread is just an absolute beast. I mean, he looks pretty cool as well, to be fair. Um, but yeah, he is a HP burn champion, bringing block buffs as well, doing so much damage. Um, I'm like god tier for Hydra, and I'm sure there's other gameplay you can get out of him as well. And where Polarium are sort of, you know, we've had our fun with Stone Skin, and Polarium are trying to sort of scale it back a bit, trying to make Stone Skin not as OP as it used to be. Supreme Gaelic may fall into the meta with that HP burn and be able to actually do damage to Stone Skin and sort of peel it off. Uh, but yeah, we'll see. I have to see how things go. But yeah. But yeah, Supreme Gaelic, if you pull him, I, I would probably be a little bit disappointed. Obviously, he's still, like I said, like amazing for, um, for Hydra, but I've got so many other options. I just want other Void... I want Void support champions. They are where it's at, to be honest, when it comes to Voids. So that's pretty much the end of the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please let me know what you guys think. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Who are your favorite champions? Who do you invest in? But yeah, so please leave me a cheeky thumbs up. Make sure you smash, smash, smash that subscribe. And I'll see you in a video soon. Peace.